Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. We're going to be talking all about newest LPs by Dior. I picked up two of the new transfer proof ultra matte liquid lipsticks. So we're gonna find out if they're truly transfer proof. I am gonna be doing lip swatches, just regular swatches. I already wore these yesterday and the day before, so I already have my thoughts on the product. So if you're excited and this is your first time here, I'm Gigi. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I do a ton of lifestyle makeup reviews, unboxing hauls. So if there's a content that you enjoy go ahead and click on the red button that says and also come over to my instagram because over there i do keep you posted on new makeup cells makeup releases everything like that so let's just go ahead and get started all right friends so let's begin and i picked up two of the rouge uh dior forever liquid lippies i picked up the shade 100 which is their forever nude and then i picked up shade 558 forever grace so let's go ahead and apply them. So this is the component so so beautiful it has the Dior logo engraved at the top and then at the bottom um, you get the shade and then this is the other shade 5 by 8 over on Soul Bridges you only have four shades this is the other shade and these are so cute I love 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 uh, you know the component on these libraries and these are the two shades side by side I'll do swatches in a minute they're already on the or side and they say new rouge Dior uh, forever liquid transfer proof liquid lipstick is ultra pigmented matte birdie their comfort they do have uh, 6, 8, 10, 11 shades currently um, uh, but Selfridges only has 4 so I went with Selfridges that's how I got mine for the description of these products is that it's going to be their first ultra pigmenter transfer proof liquid lipstick with a vibrant ultra matte color that withstand contact with shrinking color the liquid lipstick won't settle into lines won't fade, won't budge or warm feather even on fabric and mask. They're claiming that it's gonna be a 12 hour without compromising comfort, no matter the stresses of a day to day life. Um, I'm not sure I'll wear these for this long. I am actually doing a wear test on Kevin D's Good Apple Foundation. And so I, I think I'll have to take this product off, but I already know how long wearing they are. I wore the lightest and these were really, really well for a good six hours before I started eating like salad with dressing. And so then it just went downhill like any other liquid lip. I don't think this is gonna be any you know more long wearing than those that you already have but i do have to say that they do feel very comfortable so let's just go ahead and apply the two shades that i got let's just go ahead and apply they do recommend to line your lips so i'm gonna line them with charlotte's pillow talk i do not have any dior you know uh, lip liner All right, so I came in a little bit closer so that you can see freshly applied. It does have a little bit of a sheen, which I'm gonna do a swatch right here. So this is the swatch of Forever Node Freshly Applied. You said you can see that it has a little bit of a sheen. I applied it and I was rubbing my lips they were sticking a little bit um you know to each other but now it is completely set it is fully set and it is very comfortable it doesn't feel like dry like i want to run and put on a um, lip gloss it doesn't feel like that so let's do a lippy test nothing at all so they do set and they're set for good this color is very stunning. It's gonna be very neutral. It's gonna complement so, so many skin tones, I feel like. So I really like this kind of uh, colors. And yeah, this is that guy. Let's do the other one.
this is Forever Grace, a very bright, super, super pretty strawberry, um, you know, kind of shade. I did wanted to mention because I didn't um, about the applicator. So the applicator is one of those pointy, um, flat applicators. Here it gets enough products so where you can cover both of your lips with just you know one swipe. Both colors were very opaque. I didn't feel like I have to go too many passes. Like one or two were actually enough to fully coat it my lips. I'm going to swatch the other shade beside it. Um, so that you can see so very beautiful very bright very vibrant kind of um, shades on this line hey fans I didn't think to do a wear test on the lipis but I thought I'll share it is 12 and I had breakfast this morning at around 10 and I applied this lippy at 8 and this one is looking like hmm very very nice and as I said very comfy I don't feel the need to like apply a gloss or anything like that so this is that last year that i applied okay bye all right friends so let's sum up this video i feel like this is a beautiful liquid lip formula out of all the liquid lipsticks that i've ever tried these are the most comfortable they are a liquid lip so they're not hydrating at all but they're really like just there really put very nice very comfortable as i'm talking to you i i pretty much feel like i have nothing on which is very nice and i feel like they're long wearing not the 12 hour mark that they're claiming but a good seven to eight hours depending on the food that you're consuming i do have to say that if you wanted to reapply them they don't really look gross in the inside or anything I love these strawberry color for spring and summer i think it's so so pretty you guys it's very very comfortable and beautiful i really like this formula i am very excited you know to check out more colors so what they're saying about the blurring effect or maybe it's like it has like a powdery finish because if you see my lips up close let me show you truly the lines are like concealed they're not showing up too much because of that powdery effect as i'm talking i don't feel like it's pulling or drying nothing like that it is very very comfortable but i have to say that they are very very comfortable because i don't really use or love liquid lips because of that tiny feeling or that drying that i need to like sip water i don't feel like that um, you know with these ones so I do feel like they're a nice formula very long wearing not sure about the 12 hours um maybe a bright color like this this is so so lightweight even more lightweight than a lipstick i had natasha denona lipstick for my other video that i'm filming and when i took it off and i put this one on this is pretty much like i can't feel anything and it's been a couple of minutes that's my sorry there and it's been like almost eight minutes since i applied this lippy and it is it just gets more comfortable by the minute i love it you guys i do really feel like this is so so nice for you know wearing underneath the mask they do have some really fun colors the links of these guys are gonna be below if you're interested Keep in mind it is a liquid lip it is not gonna be hydrating uh, but i don't feel the need to run and grab a lip uh you know a lip gloss and put it over I'm good, I'm content. I do feel like they're very pretty, very softening to the lips, very blurring. Not sure about the 12 hour claim because again, I wore the nude and it already faded by seven hours when I started to eating greasy stuff. Um, but maybe the bright one would. Pretty friends, and that's it for now. Those are my quick thoughts and reviews on newest Dior lippies. Let me know what do you think of these guys. Do you like the colors that I chose? Do you use liquid lipsticks or you just don't like them? These are truly transfer proof. So I really like the fact that, you know, under my mask, I could be really beautiful and glam. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.